Tuesday evening to you. It is 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here with the video we call Weather for Weather Geeks. We do not have any accumulating snow coming our way this uh, week and through the weekend and probably through much of next week as well. What we do have coming our way is some beautiful weather for our Wednesday and for our Thursday. Today is the 15th day of March, about halfway through the month. So let's check in on temperatures so far in the month of March. We reached 56 for the second consecutive day today. We've come a long way since the weekend with a high of just 27 Saturday and 36 on Sunday. For the month, when you factor in the highs and the lows, we're running 2.9 degrees warmer than the average. It seems very likely that March will go into the record books as a warmer than average month, considering what the forecast is for the next week or so, perhaps some cooler weather during the final stretch of the month, but uh, I don't think it'll be anything crazy cold. In the meantime, we, we dealt with a couple of raindrops, a couple of stray sprinkles and uh, uh, light rain showers earlier on this afternoon, but those are fading away, and most of the action across the country this evening is down across the deep south and also across parts of the western U.S. Lots of nothing across the plains, the Midwest, and into the Great Lakes. A uh, little disturbance that brought us a few showers earlier is now pushing through parts of New England. Temperatures across the country. Also, really nothing to write home about out there this evening. We have seasonably warm air in the southern U.S. and fairly mild weather com uh, compared to average across a lot of the northern tier of states. So even in a place like Minneapolis, it is well above average this evening at 51 degrees. Boston, one of the cool spots at 42. We're still hanging on to middle 50s here locally. Now, you'll need a jacket as Wednesday starts, but it's not going to be bad at all. In fact, well above average for the middle of March with temperatures not far from 40 at the start of the day. What a great afternoon we have coming up, though, with a partly to mostly sunny sky. Temperatures already getting into the mid 50s by lunchtime and heading for the middle 60s, maybe even upper 60s in some places before the day is through. I've removed any chances of fog out of our forecast for tomorrow morning. Yesterday it looked like Wednesday morning might start with some fog. I think that would be pretty isolated at this point. Most of us won't have to worry about that. Just plenty of sunshine. Also, I mentioned last evening that all this moisture would probably miss us to the east. I still think that'll be the case on Thursday. We'll be in a little slice of ice here on Thursday uh, with moisture to our east and to our west. We are expecting some sunshine and very balmy weather for St. Patrick's Day. Our next major weather maker is this guy right here. This will uh, come east at the end of the week, and you see some snow out here across the Midwest. I'm not real concerned about snow at all around here, but I do think that rain will push in before Friday is through, and that'll set the stage for a soggy Friday night and a showery day on Saturday. All right, St. Patrick's Day weather history coming up on Thursday. St. Patrick's Day is going to be the second consecutive pretty warm one for our area. We had 66 last year. This year is the 10-year anniversary of the warmest St. Patrick's Day on record. During that ridiculously warm March of 2012, we had 77 degrees. Everything was blooming already in the middle of March 10 years ago. The snowiest St. Patrick's Day on record for our area, officially at the airport, five inches back in 1936. Coming up later this weekend on Sunday, specifically, uh, astronomical spring. Now, meteorologists have been celebrating the start of spring since March the 1st, but astronomical spring having to do with the, you know, the Earth's orbit around the sun, where exactly we are, and the tilt of the Earth relative to the uh, sun. That occurs Sunday in the Northern Hemisphere. Spring begins at 11.33 a.m. Eastern Time. 7.25, our sunrise, sunset at 7.34. I'll talk about this more later in the week, but yeah, sunrise and sunset are not exactly 12 hours apart at the equinox around here, whether it be in the spring or the fall. That has to do with our latitude, where we are in our time zone. Also, the way we define sunrises and sunsets makes it so that actual equal day, equal night occurs a few days offset from the equinox in the spring and in the uh, in the fall as well. All right, I think we're going to be pretty mild, relatively speaking, through the first half of next week with a little cool interlude at the start of the upcoming weekend. In the 8 to 14 day period, ignore the dates at the top here, I haven't updated that, but uh, some cooler weather will start to make some inroads, it looks like, as we head towards the final weekend of March. So maybe right around the 26th, 27th, 28th, uh, some cooler weather likely to push in as, the, as a ridge starts to pop out west. At this point, I don't think it's anything all that unusual. And the, the verdict or the jury is still out on how, how April will shape up. After all, we're only halfway through the month of March. Uh, but I, I would not be surprised if mid-spring was not particularly warm 
compared to the average, we have a continuing La Nina uh, impacting northern hemisphere weather patterns as we head into the spring season. Uh, and it's actually trying to strengthen a little bit. Usually La Nina weakens as you exit winter and head into spring. El Nino does the same thing. Um, but we're starting to see some subtle strengthening actually of that La Nina uh, signature or that signal. And if that's the case, along with some of the stuff that's going on up near the Arctic Circle um, in the high latitudes, starting to see some signs that maybe mid-spring will not be particularly warm around here. So if I were a betting man halfway through March, I would not place my chips down on a crazy warm April. But we'll talk more about April, of course, as we get closer to the start of the month. In the meantime, enjoy this March evening. Thank you for watching, everyone. And I will see you right back here on Wednesday.